Hello friends, I greet you all in the name of the Lord. I am here again. My name is Maggie Seure and I'm so blessed to come to you uh, this time. And um, today I just want to talk about something that we Christians um, are tested on several times. If there is a test that we find ourselves failing, and this one, nobody will say uh, that they are experts. Most of us, we have failed in this test. And that is the test of patience. You see, I know when we mention patience, we know we've heard that we should be patient until we get the right partner. We should be patient before we make those important decisions. We should be patient on I don't know what and what. But um, my detail today on patience goes to the normal day-to-day -day things that we do. I'm sorry about the dog uh, barking. That's my neighbor's dog. And a lot of chicken noise. But uh, understand. So, um, about patience. There is a measure of patience that we all need every single day of our lives. Like, every single day. You know, those kind of patience that we need even while queuing at a bank, at a supermarket. The kind of patience that you need when handling like a rough person that you just met maybe along the street and they, they were, they, you know, they, maybe they were rude on you. Um, I'm sorry about that. There was quite some noise from the dogs. Um, um, I'm talking about, you know, there is that kind of patience that you have to have when handling a dispute maybe with a friend and these are some of the patients uh, tests that we normally fail most of the time because um, it's really hard handling people handling people with different characters different personalities and the reason i'm recording this video today is because i want to share a short testimony where my patience was really tested and i have to testify because I saw the hand of God so mightily and I felt compelled to just share with you because there's somebody who may be needing this right now at a moment in their lives. Um, so I was, I was at a hospital where um, um, my, um, my DM was being discharged uh, from, uh, uh, she was admitted for like three days. So it was her day of discharging, of discharge. And so I am at the hospital in the morning very early because uh, she was actually discharged the day previously in the evening, which wasn't possible to do the process of discharge. So I had to really get there early in the morning to do the procedure so that at least for me, I knew that by around mid-morning, we will be done. So I was in the hospital quite uh, early because I knew there were queues I needed to make, you know, like NHIF queues and uh, uh, the bills, you know, the... I mean, if you've been in hospital, eh, those procedures of the hospital, when somebody is being discharged, you understand very well. So I get to the hospital and, and all is well. I go get the, the papers from my, uh, my girl and um, I start the procedure. And <laughs> it was crazy. The queue. It is a public hospital. I just don't want to mention names, you know. Uh, it was a public hospital and uh, the queues were crazy. Of course, everybody, there are sick people. People are queuing for different things. And I remember where I started from is at the, um, at the billing office where they process the NH 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 NHIF. Uh, and so I went to the queue. I'm telling you, there are several there are queues, many queues. You know, you finish this queue, you are told to go to the next one and so on and so forth. And so I queue for quite some time. You know, it was around from 8, back around 9, 10 there. And then when I got to the counter, I am told, actually it wasn't even 10. It was really late, almost noon, you know, around 11. And I am told um, there is a problem. Why are you coming to process this uh, thing? And it was already done. You know, there was there, there was something like that. That, that I'm, being, uh, I'm being told there is something fishy that uh, the procedure had already been done and, and you're doing it again. Why do you have two forms? And for me, innocently, I told them, I don't understand. They said it was already done. Why, did, why do you have another form? So I let them know that it is the doctor that gave me this form to bring here for the process. 
So they say, no, <laughs> I mean, you already had the form. A form was already filed. You know, this thing was already done. So why would the doctor give you another form? And so you can imagine such a thing and you're dismissed from the line. And you've been queuing from morning and you're told, you know, we need to, to find out what's going on. And then they tell you, go to counter number this. So you go to this counter again, it is another queue. You get to this counter, you are told, no, you go to this counter. And so it was it was a mess. And I remember during this time when we've all gone in, we are in a queue inside. The queue was outside, but then now I've gotten in, but now I'm hanging around along the counters. And uh, this soldier comes, and the soldier says, says, uh, can you talk any to you know, we don't want to crowd around here. Well, it made sense, but you know, there was not so much crowding because not many people are allowed in. They allow like two or one next to the one in the counter, so there is a lot of space. But I think he was just, you know, you know, as you, when you're hired, you just want to do your work, whether you will nag people or not. And so he gets us out. When we get out, we stand, we meet together with the rest, almost three or four. We stand almost at the door. The rest are queuing. From, you know, from morning and every, people are just piling up in the queues. So we stand outside here and then all of a sudden the rest are taken back in and I'm not taken in. So I'm standing here almost like I'm forgotten because I was in, my process was on and I've been taken out. And then this soldier, okay, it's a security officer, you know, at, the, at those queues, you, you understand, you know. He comes and says, Nini bona messi mama apa. I said, I don't want people crowding outside here. Everybody go sit down or you just go to the queue, you know, go, go stand over there, not here. So for me, I'm like, why should I go? Because me, I was removed outside. So I'm allowed to stand here at the door so that I can get in. And he says, madam, I'm saying, get out of here. You go, 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 go. And you know, he's very rough. So I try telling him, you just got me outside and I'm, I, I was supposed to go in. The rest have gone and I'm left here. He didn't want to hear, you know, he was very rough and said, do you hear me, madam? There is no space inside. You just go. And so inside me, I'm like, yeah, I just need to go. And, you know, it, it has attracted attention of almost everyone. And so I had to go back and stand somewhere. And, you know, they don't care. So I went and stood there and I was thinking in my mind, I hope he remembers that I'm among those who are already inside and I was not done. Nothing like that happened. Actually, people continued going in. And the rest who were with me, they, 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 were, they, they, they were done and they left. So I'm like, why am I forgotten? This is not fair. I've been queuing from morning. It's like, I think it was afternoon already, actually. Because the timing, you will understand that it took the whole day when I'm done with this story. So I'm just standing there. And I feel like this is not, so not fair. And there were three soldiers, actually. But the rough one was one. The rest were a bit calm. So I stood there and I was like, now I'm standing here. Nobody knows that I was already there. These ones who are queuing already are going in. So Nikasema, Niko na ujinga na utoto, you know, I need to step up and go in and in, in, in check. So I went near there and I decided I want to approach a different soldier. The other one, not this, this one. And actually I timed when he's not looking. So while I went there, immediately he comes, the other one, and, and you know, he faces me before I even get to the other soldier. And he says, Madam, I have told you, you wait there. Can you just go back there? Oh my goodness. It hurt so hard. It hurt me. While I went back there, Aki, I fought tears. You know me, my tears are always so close. So by the time I went to that wall, because I would go back to a wall and lean at, at the wall, I felt my emotions building up so fast. Yeah, the tears are there. They are coming. And I was like, Maggie, what is wrong with you? How do you want to cry in a place like this where everybody has a right to queue? Everybody has a right to be attended to. You'll be like a baby. You know, everyone here is an adult. So why would you cry? Uh, because that you, you know. So I kept fighting the emotions with those words like, come on, Maggie. You can't cry. You know, if people will even think you're a drama queen. And I kept fighting the tears. Uh -uh. The tears couldn't stop. You know, they just fell. And I just wiped them to pole pole. And I felt like, oh my goodness, why me? What's going on? I didn't see this coming. You know, I didn't, I didn't know that I'll get a lot of difficulty on this day. Normally when I pray, you know, when you pray and you're spiritually alert, you always know 
there's a way God shows you what's ahead. So for me, this was serious drama. And I had prayed, you know, I've always prayed about this thing. And God had seen us through the hospitalization of this uh, girl all through. So at this moment, I'm like, where is God here? Because this one is not adding up. It is already afternoon. Mimi si jaingia ndani. Ni maonyesho wa madharao with this soldier. He doesn't even care. He doesn't even want to listen to me anymore. You know, my argument is dead long ago. You know, that moment where we were inside, it has been forgotten. Ah, so me, I knew now this is it. And then I began hearing voices, you know, Sinimerudi. I've gone back, actually. I'm standing. I have wiped the tears so fast because you don't want to be seen like you're crying. So I was really fast. And then I, I had a lot of voices of, so where is your God? You know, like, so where is God? Like, seriously, you've, you've just been humiliated right here. So, you know, and I could hear those voices. But deep inside me, in my spirit, I heard it very clearly. That come on, Maggie. You know that God never leaves nor forsake you. You know, and I heard that clearly. You know, I was almost succumbing to the voices. Where is God? So at this moment, God amenes a house seriously. Why? There is a lot of injustice, and I don't think I deserve. Those were the voices that were tempting me to go low and to blame God. I wanted to complain. God you know, but all of a sudden when I was about to get into that moment, that ball of blame on God, where many of us get. Okay, were so hard pressed in such a situation, my sister, my brother, just be sincere, you know, you're queuing and then somebody unfairly does such a thing. You know, of course, for, for somebody who is not deep spiritual, you'll just tend to complain, you know, like when what's wrong, kuna venye utafight, which is always good. Nipua kama we ni mtua, kujitetea. But now... If, for example, you are born again and you know you're really not supposed to exchange word, words with people, most of the time a spiritually mature person will, will, will resort to God in secret in their heart. You know, you'll start praying or you'll start complaining like God to go happy. But you know, when I wanted to get there where I wanted to question God, like really God, is this even fair? I was stopped with that voice and I was reminded, Maggie, so you think, uh, like the, the voice was like, come on, Maggie, so you think God has left? God keeps his word. He will never leave nor forsake. Where well, that, that word sank so deep. Like even during this moment where I am now, God has not left. He has not forsaken me. He's just actually right here. He's in the drama inside. Ah, I'm telling you that word changed my mind immediately. And I knew, oh, Kumbe, the devil wanted me to be angry, to be aggravated, to be desperate, and even to do something that is... Um, that is immature. So immediately my mind was changed and I knew, oh my God, God is right here. Oh my goodness. You know what I did? I started worshipping God. In my spirit, all this is happening right inside me. And I began worshipping God. Oh my goodness. Oh God. Oh my God. How, how you love me. How can I even for a second forget that you, you, you are right here. You never leave nor forsake. Oh, Jesus, I love you. I love you because your word is true and you never go back against your word. I worship you even right in this moment of my struggle, even in this moment of my confusion. Jesus, you remain to be Jesus. I worshiped God. You are so good, God. I, I mean, I don't understand, but the spirit of God just led me into this moment of so much worship and appreciation for God. I couldn't even understand myself. And I was th thanking God because... um. I remember, I was reminded that God has been good in my life all through. And so he has not changed. So I began worshipping and telling. In fact, I started now speaking, of course, still inside me intentionally. And telling the enemy, you know what? I cannot turn my back against my God. God has done so much in my life. He has so much perfect good plans for me ahead. And so I cannot curse my God. I cannot blame my God. He remains to be God. And I kept saying, and I said, you know what? Even if this day goes badly, even if this day does not yield the fruits that we expect, even if things go bad right now, I love God. I still love God. He is God. He has done so much that I cannot equate to such a moment of desperation. I'm telling you. So I loved God in my spirit. I loved God a lot. I was, I was so humbled in that moment that I just needed to love God in the process. And you know what else I was reminded? That God is still there and he's doing something. 
So for me, I rested. I rested actually at the moment and I was like, yeah, my God is still there. Wherever at Atokia, there is a place God at Atokia. I don't know where, but I know God is going to show up in just a few. And then I rested and I was in so much good mood in my spirit. I stopped crying and it became my kulifungu katena, you know, like everything is like went back to normal. And so I went back to myself. I stood there and in so much patience and peace, actually. And then for a second, I had in my spirit to go and uh, talk to that soldier again because there was a different soldier who was standing there alone and uh, he knew that I had been gotten out of that place some time ago. So I just walked very boldly and I spoke to him. Apparently, the other one was not even around. I couldn't see where he was. So I went to this other soldier and I told him, excuse me, um, do you know I was gotten, I was, I was forced out of this, uh, out of this place and uh, I was still queuing. My issue was still in process. And then you people made us to stand here. The rest went in and then you forced me, I was forced to go back to the queue. And then the soldier was like, oh my God, I remember you. I remember you. See, you are with the other ones. I'm like, yeah, but I've been pushed to the back. I can yambe, no, 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 madam, come, come, just come inside. And then he took me inside. And then the process again began. So I went, um, I went back to where I was. It was such a hassle, I'm telling you. You go into this counter, there is an issue. You go into this counter, there is an issue. Finally, I get now to the right counter. And you know what time that was, Aki? It was around four going to five. And I finally land in a counter now where I, they were supposed to shugulikia me because through this process, unatumuata injes ju and ufanye photocopy and you know, all these hassles. So I get here and then he takes all the documents. Nimeshika pamoja. Uh, it was a guy, okay, I don't want to mention names, but uh, I, I, I got inside and I mean, I stood at the counter, akachukua papers, and then he went through them and then akanyambia. He, he began again the same issue from the past. You know, like, why Why did you have uh, two, two documents? How can a doctor give you another one when you had already processed another one the other week, you know? So he went back there, and I explained to him, Akanyabe, madam, if you want me to trust you, just go back to that uh, to that ward and let them let them give you the original one so that we know that it is true. Ah, so me, I was, actually, my heart sank. I was like, now it is almost five. So maybe I'll be told, we are sorry, madam, we are not discharging your patient again today. And you know, she had overstayed the previous night, which had added more money for the night because the NHIF would not have catered for any extra money. And so I'm like, Aki, now it means I'm going again to the ward. I'll come back to queue again. Now what will happen? But um, thank God, this guy says, you can just leave the documents. When you come, come straight to the counter. Because what to a major? So if you lose your place, nobody cares. But he remains with the papers and says, just go back, then you come back. So when I came back, this guy, let me just try to hurry because I know I've taken a lot of time. So this guy checks the papers again and then he says, now, madam, eh, um, now you need to pay 12500 and then uh, and then we discharge. So can you do it? That is the extra money. NHIF is not able to pay 12500 Eh? I knew this was the end of the road. So I told him, eh, that one now, it won't be possible. Maybe I will just come tomorrow because I didn't have money actually. I only had less money, which I knew was extra for, for her spending the night, the previous night. So 12,500 yote. So in, in fact, I just I just told him, eh, okay, it is okay. Maybe I'll just come tomorrow and uh, let me go look for the money. That's a lot I don't have. Okay. Um, so it was like an anambia, okay, because nobody is discharged before you pay. You have to pay the whole amount. No patient can leave the hospital before your payment. So I stood there and then he took the papers and then he said, can you take this, uh, this paper to the nurse in charge up there and then assign? So me, I just took the papers. Me, I thought maybe it's a, it's a paper to show that I'm supposed to come back to pay so I can't take the patient. So the nurse goes and signs and then sends me back down. Do you know how many flows those are? Another way of patients. I'm going up and down the, the flows. Kozaliko, I think second flow. And you have to go running. The time is gone. So I went running and came back again with that paper. And then he takes the paper again. So I'm waiting for him to say, Sawa, madam, you, 
you come. And then one thing I noted about him, he kept, you know, looking at the screen and then he looks at me and then he, he continues with what he's doing. And then he gives me all the papers and says, okay, you can go. So I told him, so uh, I, uh, you, you discharge her or? I can say, your patient is discharged, you can go. Umai back in Amaswali, like, so is discharged, how, like, am I supposed to pay first? I told him, so I'm going home with my patient. I can say, yes, madam, you're cleared. Where? Mimi nili toka hapo nikishek, like, okay, what just happened? So nika sema, akanyambia take these papers to the nurse. Mi nika jua, taking these papers to the nurse means that the nurse is going now to ask me for the receipts of the payment. You know, like, there is another procedure up there so that they can release the, the girl. Kufika kule juu, the nurse just took the papers, akazigawa zingine, akaziput away, na akanipatia iyo ingine, na akanyambia, sawa, you can go. Nikamuliza, I can go with my patients. Akasema, yes, you can go. Eh? So mimi nimetoka, nikaingia kwa ward, I told my patient, now, let's go. Akaniambia, eh, kila kitu imeenda poa, nikamuambia, there is something God is doing, I don't understand. Tuende tu, tutajulia mbele. So while we were living with this girl, you know, there was that fear of utaitwa uambiwa unaenda wapi na ujalipa nini the money. And surprisingly as we left the hospital, this girl tells me aki unaona huyo mgonjwa alikuwa next to me. Unajua alipona alidischargeua jana lakini imagine hajarilizwa because hajalipa 7500 ya NHIF haikuketa hiyo. So anangojea akuje alipiwe ndio adischargeue. Oh my goodness. What am I trying to say, my people? God was fighting my battle. God had already gone ahead to show me favor right in the eyes of whoever I faced at the counter. And for your information, you know, I remember before we left here, the nurse called me again. This nurse now up there. Now, can you, Lisa, do I know you? Have I seen you somewhere? Nkamuambia, no, why? Because I'm in a mask, so you are, you are like, lazima I make a mistake. Akaniambia, are you Margaret? So even her using the name Margaret is weird because those people who know me will say Maggie as a gospel artist, if, if that is the case. Nkamuambia, yeah, I'm Margaret. Akasema, do you sing? Nkamuambia, yeah, I sing. Akasema, yeah, I think I've seen you somewhere. Ah, Nkamuambia, well, okay, yeah, 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 that's me. So, and that was it. So, while I came down, I'm like, you know, whatever God did, even that guy at the counter, at the, at the, at the billing station, there was something that God did in his spirit, and he may not understand how he signed off my papers and let me go. He will not understand. Because one thing I remember he was not even a kale. You know, you would be like, I'm a Alenijua. But you know, these are hospital corridors nobody knows yet. Nobody cares. Actually, we went through a rough time. At the hospital, you expect people to be hospitable, but people are so rough. You will think you are at a police station, actually, Ukiwa Hospital. So even this guy was really rough at the beginning. And then all of a sudden, it's like something changed because he began looking at me like, so I knew... <laughs> That was the time God was changing his mind concerning me. You see, when God goes ahead of you, even those people who hate you will not understand why they favored you. They will not. In fact, later they will be asking, what was it about that person? What was it about this person? It's because your God has gone ahead. God never leaves nor forsake. My God knew he was going to show up at the last point where we left the hospital with favor. If I had complained, my sisters, my brothers, if I had complained that moment and told God, where are you? You know, you are not fair, you know, it will have blocked such things or it will have delayed. Maybe at a king, something would have happened and wafunge na waseme ni mpaka kesho ndio discharge tena zifanyike. Because the enemy uses, the enemy uses the tests you fail to attack you and to delay you. Yes, God would not have left, but would, I would have delayed myself because we get delayed because of our own attitudes, our own character, our own way of handling things, how we blame God, you know. But if you stay still, the Bible says, be still and know that I am God. So God doesn't change. If we were still, even in those situations we are going through today, if we were so still and wait upon God and say, you know what? God knows what's going on and I know he will favor me. 
So the moment when I knew it is done, I've wasted the whole day. It was five in the evening. I've wasted the whole day and at the end, I don't have the money. So actually it's until tomorrow we start the process again. God goes ahead and shows himself. Actually, that was God showing himself. When I left that hospital, I could not understand how. Why me? My sisters, my brothers, if you're thinking in the flesh, you will think, maybe we are mtu, eh, kulikuwa na hii. Uko ni busy, hakuna mtu anajua mtu, ama hakuna favoritism, ama zujuu na kaaje. It is so strict. So if you're thinking in the flesh, you'll think, ah, siya ilikuwa bati yako tu. No. If you think spiritually, you will know that that is how the children of God are favored. In processes, in places where there is so much injustice, in places where there is so much confusion. You get through. So you just be still. So in every situation of your life. Maluko sayu umefinjika unashuna kwa ni goda kwa api. Like serious, why am I going through this? And yet, mimi see, you know, I have done all I need to do. Uh-uh. Jiambie, there is somewhere God is going to show up. Let me wait. My God is going to show up. No matter how long it takes. And actually you rest and you don't care. You see, it was evening by the time we left the hospital. But the joy we had in that car while we are going home. Ilikuwa imeres everything. I stood in that place the whole day. No lunch, no nothing. Just standing. There was a moment I was even feeling like I'm shaking. The whole, whole day. Ile enye uneza sikia kabisa. But I'm telling you when we were going back home, there was so much energy. So much thanksgiving when it should have been a day of cursing. You know, like really, I can't believe I wasted the day, but God showed up. God will show up for you. The test, like I started this uh, video, I said if there is a test that we fail so much as Christians, is the test of patience. God is there. He doesn't leave. He doesn't forsake. He is aware. He is so aware that there is so much injustice being done in your life today. He is aware that there is so much pain you are going through. But this is a test. He wants you to worship him in the moment. He wants you to trust him in the moment. No, no doubt. To stay still and believe in your God. Usi partner na the devil. The devil wants you to partner with him. To believe that God has forgotten me. God doesn't like me. There is something wrong about me. I think I'm too sinful. Maybe God anawana mimi si kitu. The moment you engage and you conceive those words and you believe, it's done. That is it. It becomes it. The devil has won. It becomes actually the thing. Until later again, Asirazako zitaisha, yes, by the next day, the next day, and then you start again loving your God. Una imagine utaku me delay. Mungu waja kunyima kitu. But because the devil used your words to block God. And it's not like God is blockable. Actually, most of the things we go through, it's because of what we give in to the devil. Hmm? You see, the devil actually, there is a way, this is too deep, I don't know if you understand, there is a way the devil has a hand against you if you don't go according to the word of God. Even the Bible says that the devil is an accuser of brethren. You know what the devil tells God? He tells God, You see? So, anatumia dhambi yako kukublok. And you know, it will only take you to repent, to go back to God for God to release you. So the devil accuses you before God and says, Utamfanya ni nisiya metenda dhambi. But if you repent, hana nguvu, nguvu zake zinaisha. Because that's God, what God wants you to do. If you confess and tell the devil, ah, God still loves me. He loses the grip, anaishiwa. Hakuna accusation atakufanya. But the moment you, you, you team up with him and say, yeah, this God, I mean, I don't even, God is, ata sidani ana God and I exist, you know. You umeingish, umeingia kwa minyororo yake kabisa. By the time you wake up the next three days, you realize, let me start again by the way, oh God help me. And he will come again and help you, but you delayed yourself. So let's be patient. The things of God need a lot of patience, by the way. But one amazing thing, even though for God it takes some time, it is permanent. Yeah, devil ni shortcut. By the way, uneza ongana ata hospital, you know, uneza kuna jua watu, so you use your name, uingie hivi na hivi. But then you know what will happen? It will be temporary. You will get into trouble later because it didn't go through the hand of God. So you can get things easy. Yeah, you have a way, maybe you have money, easy. But still, your troubles will always recur because you are using your own efforts. Could you sort? But for God, it takes some time. It takes a while. But when he sorts you, it's permanent. Atakama ilichukua 10 years, upate buwana. The moment you get that buwana, it becomes a perfect marriage. It becomes a beautiful marriage. You see? So, to see, to see, puuze, ama to the rao, kungoja kwa mungu kwako. 
ati una unaambia watu am waiting on god people love at you <laughs> ati am waiting hii mambo yako ya god wewe itakuzesha be a fool for god be a fool let them laugh but you know in your heart you know what god i'm waiting on you i'm waiting on you lord i will not lose my trust in you trust in the lord with all your heart proverbs 3 5 to 6 trust in the lord with all your heart do not lean on your own understanding because your understanding will tell you hii utangoja mpaka saa ngapi toka wewe toka ujitafutie nini maisha you know It says trust in the Lord with all your heart do not lean on your own understanding in all his ways acknowledge him in all your ways so that he will direct your paths acknowledge him in all your ways he will direct your paths thank you so much i took so much time but i know that somebody is going to wait on the lord no matter what you will not cast god you will not blame god you will not hate god you will still worship your god for the times he has helped you you will remain in that place and say no matter what happens i will not leave the place of god i will not leave his presence God bless you. Bye-bye.